this circuit has been has shown for a very long time. That phrase, as shown for a very long time, signifies that the circuit is in steady state. Because the source is AC, the circuit is in AC steady state, and we have a tool to show circuits in AC steady state phasor analysis. To analyze this as a phasor problem, well, the first thing we do is we identify the frequency, which is 400 radians per second. We continue reading. Find what is the current in the inductor as a function of time, the current in this inductor. B. Find the voltage in the capacitor as a function of time, this voltage. The first thing I do is replace this function of time with a phasor. 141, which is the peak value divided by root 2, gives us the RMS value, 100, 0 degrees for the inductor. The reactance, not the impedance. For the impedance, I will add a J here, but not yet. 4 ohms. I write here J4. For the capacitor, negative J3 ohms. We are ready to solve the circuit to find this current, IL, and this voltage, VC. We can solve this circuit in many different ways, but the one I will use is divide this uh, voltage by the total impedance of the circuit to find this current that will be both the current in the source and the current in the inductor. And now, to find the voltage in the capacitor, to this voltage I will subtract the drop in these 4 ohms, J4, impedance, to find the voltage of this node, to this node here. And that voltage I will use voltage divider to find Vc. The voltage divider will be That's a voltage divider that multiplies the voltage of that node that is 100 minus a drop. There is a negative sign here that I didn't copy first. Now, those voltages and currents as functions of times are easy to write. 14, 874, root 2, sine 400t, frequency is the same, minus 30 degrees and something. We write that as radians, of course. and the voltage in the capacitor has a peak value of this multiplied by root 2. And I convert that to radians. We're almost ready now. Let's evaluate this at t equals zero. For the last part of the problem, what is the current and what is that uh, voltage at t equals zero? Well, we just make that zero and evaluate that. 
this value times this sign of this expression and this value times the sign of this expression t equals zero and the voltage in the capacitor at zero what does the negative sign mean well let's see what that means is that this voltage actually is like so 28 159 volts like that and that this current is actually flowing in the other direction allow me so this current here let me make room here at the top that current actually is flowing like this 10 6 3 8 amps To work on the last part, what is the active and reactive power supplied by the source? We multiply the voltage at the source 100 times the complex conjugate of the current in the source, which is the same current in the inductor which we found before. 100 times the complex conjugate of this current, that is the complex power delivered by the source, is a 100 times the complex conjugate of this current, which is the same current in the source, that is 100, that multiplies 14874 with an angle of positive 30, 379 degrees, because it's a conjugate of this one. And we write this in rectangular form, which is 1283 watts and uh, 752.2 VARS and that is the active and reactive power delivered by the source thank you very much